today it's Molly and I'm joined here with my sister who is going to be my demo for the Chloe Bun inspired hair tutorial which obviously you know because you clicked on this video and that's the title of it so let's get started so the first thing you're gonna want to do is to heat up your curling iron because you're gonna actually need to use your curling iron um, so have that heated up while you're slicking back your hair and all that so mine is plugged in right now and First thing we're going to do is get our hair gel. I'm using the Tresemme Mega Firm Control in the number 5 because I like hairs. <laughs> because, I don't know. Okay, I don't know guys. Wait, take out your clip for me please. You're just going to rub it around on your hands till it's like all over. And this is actually a good tip is to do this um, before you put your hair up is to slick it before you put it up into the ponytail because actually you can get a lot more out of it that way. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is take my smoothing brush. You can find all different kinds of these. They're really very common. Lots of people use them to blow dry hair. I use them to fix my buns. So as you can see the gel is starting to kind of like sculpt and like mold. So you're just going to brush it straight back here. We'll go a little bit closer. So now you're going to keep with your smoothing brush and take it and brush it up and do a really high ponytail. So you can kind of scrape it up there first and then use your smoothing brush to get all the bumps out. If you're doing this on yourself, I, rec I recommend actually bending upside down because it's very hard to just like scrape your hair up. So what we're going to do now is what we call a model ponytail. This is not going to be the final ponytail because what we do is we put it into a ponytail first. So, and I like to use two hair ties at a time because it holds a lot better than just one. And this has a few bumps and it's not super slick yet. So that's where the hairspray comes in. <laughs> So as I was saying before, this is your model ponytail. So I'm going to take my hairspray. I'm using the Vital Sassoon, I don't know how you pronounce that, extra firm hold in a number four because I didn't have the five. And I got this at Walgreens. Or my, you can get it at your local drugstore. And you're going to spray a ton of hairspray on because you need it. Now I take my smoothing brush again and brush up here. Turn to the back so you can see what I'm doing. Go. and you just brush up towards the ponytail and it'll make a weird bump around the ponytail and that's why we're gonna just call this our model ponytail because it'll eventually redo it but this is what's gonna help kind of set that nice smooth look this part's actually a lot easier to do on a different person you're not gonna let go of her hair and it kind of hurts as you can tell by her face and you're just gonna kind of work your hands through it again to pull it up back and smooth over those awkward bumps into this nice, clean ponytail. Okay, so now that you have this really nice ponytail and it's nice and slicked and there's no more bumps and it's all pretty and nice, you are going to take a bun maker, and if you don't have a bun maker, I'm going to show you what you can use. This. Or a sock, I guess, but I think these are the socks. And you're just gonna go around like this on the hair. And that is your homemade bun maker. You just spread the hair around and make it even across, and it'll make this nice bun. But what you have to do, because right now you look like one of those creepy characters from Christmas movies. Oh, like who's? Okay, so what I did is I just took, I separated a little piece, and I'm going to take my curling tongs. You can also use a curling wand, but I'm going to use my tongs for this 
because I find that it actually works a little bit better, especially with her hair. And curl it straight in like this. You want a really tight ringlet. And hold it for about five to 10 seconds or until it makes a nice curl that will hold like that. That's perfect. And don't worry if it comes down a little bit like this, we're gonna pin it in just a few moments. Okay, so now that you have curled all the way around the bun, you are going to start with your bobby pins. So I'm going to be just using regular bobby pins and not the big head, or the bun heads, big, big pins. Big pins. Yeah. My normal bobby pin. Take one of the curls and kind of push it up a little bit towards her bun and pin it to her head. And you're basically gonna just do this around her entire head. Why don't we answer some questions while we're doing this? Okay, Bridge, do you have a YouTube channel? Yes. What's it called? AG Stars 8. What do you do on your channel? Uh, I do American Girl videos, Rainbow Loom videos, and Beanie Boo videos, and Craft videos. Cool. And how many subscribers do you have? Like 16. Oh, we need to change that. <laughs> so we have pinned all of the curls towards her bun, and it now looks like this. And if you have any like kind of weird flyaways, you can totally do that. So we're going to finish off with a little bit of hairspray. All. And just for fun, you're going to add a little flower thingy on the side. Because why not? So here's the finished Chloe Bun look. I'll include some close-up shots of that now. Thank you so much for watching and remember to click like if you enjoyed this video and if it helped you out at all and to subscribe to our channel because we have many more videos just like this and to subscribe to my sister's channel if you are so inclined to and also leave a comment down below if you have a suggestion for a video that you want to see next or a question for us if you want us to do a Q&A. Thank you so much for watching. We love you. Bye!